What's up guys and good morning. As you can see, I freaking live in the sweater. Don't worry, I wash it. Coming at you today showing you the ranch hand front bumper with brush guard and the matching rear bumper. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that little blue bell. I got lots more stuff coming. I believe the next thing I'm gonna be putting on is the 50 inch roof light bar. Stay tuned because there's also some bonus footage. Looking at the ranch hand front and rear bumper. You know, it took me a little while to decide on this one just because I like the chrome that came with this 2018 LCTZ Silverado. So I really didn't want to cover it up. But after getting it all installed, all in all, I really like it. It wasn't too hard to install. Granted, I hadn't done it before, so me and the other guy kind of took a little bit of time. But save thousands of dollars or hundreds at least having the shop to do it so let's take a look at it as you can see i can still see the chrome through it pretty damn well so all in all i like it i talked about taking the mesh out of the front but for now i think i'm going to leave it this this bumper was actually made for this specific model of truck obviously mounting it up to the original brackets wasn't that difficult I actually had to remove some things and it was actually easier to reinstall this bumper than to take off the original bumper the only thing I don't like here obviously I gotta have something but my tow hooks are actually way back in there and I'm currently trying to find extensions or longer tow hooks so I can get them to the front of this bumper but right now they sit back about six inches but I can still use them definitely solid good piece of product let's go back to the rear bumper definitely looks pretty good hopefully I'm gonna get some new tail lights in some smoked out or black LED tail lights I'm also gonna try to find some bumper lights because I just don't like these ones that come with it they're kind of like a clear look and I just don't like it plus it does come with the factory holes forgot to show that up front but the front and the back have the factory holes for the sensors so if you have the sensors it will plug and play with the original backup and uh, assist sensors but since I don't I'm gonna pop those out and probably throw some LED lights in there to jack up the tire most of them come with a lock now that didn't fit in the hole so I'm gonna to have to drill that hole out a little bit bigger to make it so it fits in the hole and seals up nice and tight not too fond of these lights so I am gonna swap those out probably show this later once I get all this stuff you know fixed up but all in all I like it it's pretty beefy it makes the truck definitely look a lot more tough a little walk around here hey I picked up some LED light strips that go on the interior I thought why not the kids will love it the LED light strips plug right into the AC you can put it on any vehicle I'll probably put a link in the description below you guys can check it out got it on Amazon for I think like 20 bucks but I'll put the link below and show you guys these. Like I said, just plugs right into your AC. You can also get ones that plug into the USB. I think it's the same price. But I just ran the remote down there. And then I ran it through my floorboard back through. The only thing, I really do like the product actually. It works really simple. Actually comes with a remote. And you just got to aim it at the little thing here. It's got lots of different options. And you can make it darker, brighter. You can have it on one single color. Very easy to use. You can do on and off. You don't have to just push the button. The only thing I will say, I had to hide this one up under the dash for now because they don't stick to the plastic very well. Um, I think I was able to get this one to stick. As you can see up under there, it took a little while and I had to use alcohol prep pads. 
to get some of the factory coating off. So you may or may not have that problem. These ones back here I mounted on the floor, which I like, and it turned out really well, but the only problem is my kids say that it's too bright because they're short and they can see underneath, so I may actually wind up mounting these up underneath the seat. But like I said, I gotta figure out something else about the stickiness. Maybe get some double-sided Velcro or maybe even some stronger like goof off just to rub off the factory clear you know, spray coating that they put on all the plastic crap in here. But anyways, it makes for cool effects, especially in the dark. All in all, the project's coming together pretty damn nice. Plus, another decent day in Alaska, a little bit cloudy. Believe it or not, it was 80 yesterday and sunny. But, can't really complain. It's not raining at 840. Alright guys. Thanks for watching the video.